हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो ये फ्रेंड कुंवर इज बैक विद द रिव्यू ऑफ अनदर डिसेंट कॉलेज इन बैंगलोर कॉल कैम्ब्रिज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड लॉट ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी आस्क फॉर दिस रिव्यू एंड सो आई एम ब्रिंगिंग ओवरऑल कॉलेज नो रिव्यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्लेसमेंट एंड द अदर डिटेल्स सो टू स्टार्ट विद दिस कॉलेज इज अप्रूव बाई ए आई सी टी एंड इट्स अ परमानेंटली वी एफिलेटेड टू वी टी यू वी टी यू इन बेलगाम राइट एंड इट्स एन बी ए एंड नैक ए क्रेडिटेड एंड इट्स ऑल्सो एन आई एस ओ नाइन थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सर्टिफाइड इंस्टीट्यूट्स सो इट्स रिकोगनाइज बाय कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट अंडर यू जी सी टू एफ सर्टिफाइड इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग पर्पसेस यू नो दे हैव टू कैंपसेस राइट वन इज द मेन कैंपस विच इज़ इन के and the second campus is uh, which is also called the north campus it is located in devanalli near airport so for the main campus which is uh, cet code e149 and comet k code code is e33 for the north campus it, it's e222 that is e222 and for the comet k purpose it is e161 so but uh, main campus is the better one and uh, coming to the credentials they also say that you know seventh back best college in bangalore as per the times of india engineering institute survey of 2022 now in terms of overall facility or student life at cambridge they do have a decent amount of facilities with respect to sports or the open air theaters you know auditoriums uh, hostels you know and uh, rest of the canteens atms and the other facilities so i'm going to give us a, a small you know snapshot including the hostel facilities and, and the transportation within this campus uh, so we'll i will take through walk through uh, you know student life within the campus so good amount of open space you know to have a common interaction platform and uh, this is uh, some of the pictures from the library and information center this is the classrooms you know which is also the lecture hall auditorium uh, for you know academic excellence this is a conference halls across many of them are there in the campus and then there are transport facilities available for students who are coming from their home and uh, this is the gym facility available uh, in the campus then there have multiple outdoor sporting facility facilities as as well as indoor sporting facilities so those are quite decent and the hostels for both uh, boys and girls with the mess and now coming to the branches part of it so the main branch is computer science engineering as you see and the intake is high which is 180 students and you know typical uh, you know professional k scope you have with respect to uh, this course you are an application analyst data analyst or a game developer information uh, system management and a web developer is what you can expect and apart from you know main csc branch there is a artificial intelligence and machine learning specialization branch also intake capacity is 60 so this is a new course and uh, you you understood right you know we can you can be a ml engineer or data scientist or business intelligence developer or you know data analyst and quality engineer with this type of you know uh, um, you know academic environment and the third course is uh, information science engineering again the intake is good high 180 seats and uh, similar profile what i said for computer science and information science same similar students also get placed for same companies in the similar profile apart from three three it related branches they have ece here also electronics uh, strength is very high 180 students and uh, they typically get into different modes like a network planning engineer a network support engineer services engineer and the rest of software analyst and the uh, research and rd rnd engineer so they the placement is also decent for this branch also and it can be taken and also they have the electrical and electronics which is triple e which uh, where the seats intake is 60 so i think the intake is low so that you can take it but you know the placement will be very much limited to 40 50% not more than that rest of the branches i will suggest not to take on this college also they talk about the scholarship uh, to the students uh, that is the concessional fee for the students who have got the kct rank between 0 to 5000 ranks 1 to 5000 ranks you will get 100% fees uh, exemption and if your rank is between 5000 to 77000 you will get 50% fee exemption now coming to the placement part of it so they claim around 200 plus uh, companies are visiting every year for the placement placements and they also have around 6000 plus alumni network across and they do have a national as as well as international companies visiting 
so st starting with the last three year, years performance if you see from 2019 batch onwards so 2019 batch uh, 22 lakhs per annum was the highest salary and the average package they claim is around 5.7 for the next batch which is 2020 passing the highest salary was 14 lakhs per annum and uh, average package 5.9 and the, for the 2021 batch right previous batch with that in highest package was for the international offer so that was around 40,000 USD and the average 5.9 also they say 100% placement but you can understand for for the college under 30 ranks uh, uh, 60 to 70 percent placement itself is a decent placement for the top branches computer science information science electronics up to that so now coming to the latest placement which is placement placement statistics of 2022 so there they claim around 120 plus companies visited and 790 plus offers right so these are multiple students uh, multiple offers including so but the num number of students who got placed is around 500 so 500 plus students got placed and 790 uh, offers they held and um, the highest salary was 30 lakhs per annum for this e uh, year which is international and for domestic it is 27 lakhs so 30 and 27 are very close by and they claim that the average salary is 7.2 lakhs so i will believe that they are claiming 7.2 as average but median will be around 5 to 5.5 lakhs now the companies the type of companies which are visiting uh, you know some of them are like capgemini uh, and uh, infosys hp uh, swiggy on the electronic side you see huawei samsung right come which is the product companies and then you further see you know banks like hsbc also on the campus education side you know byju's and the software company more companies like sonata are also there on the campus so one of the mass recruiter on the campus uh, is you know cap germany so cap germany has taken around 80 students so you can see some of the snapshot of the students on this particular sheet uh, you know and this is the second page of the you know the students selected in cap gemini so around 80 plus students got uh, selected in cap gemini which is one of the mass recruiter on this campus now coming to the second page you can see here emphasis so emphasis has also taken around 40 to 50 students right so you can see around 45 students on this page emphasis on the top and then the co-forge which is also called the niit right niit training company which is a software development company also they have taken around 25 to 30 students so 30 students around joining for that so these are three of four more main companies which have mass recruiter and all other companies have taken in the range of under 20 students per uh, company right so that's the overall placement details which i can get for this college and uh, as you understand the care program campus is the main campus is the best option for students to take whereas the north campus has a lesser pl placement compared to that that's all i have to cover with respect to the overall college review and thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel and like this video to get similar